hi guys in this video we are going to look at DeFi. but before we get started with this technology let me go ahead and build up the argument now i pretty much like the gpts of gpt4 as you can see i have so many gpts that i put it constantly to use i also like the assistant apis this is where you can create a separate thread for starting up a conversation and you can build up a chatbot where multiple users can start up multiple threads and send their messages and it's pretty much a very good uh, technology but what if you want to switch uh, from the OpenAI, just the OpenAI API with some other local large language models. This is what is one of the many benefits that DeFi has to offer. Now DeFi is the innovative engine for generative AI applications and it's very easy to get your uh, AIs ready for deployment. This is the next generation deployment platform. We can easily build and operate generative AI applications and create your assistant APIs and GPTs based on any LLMs, be it closed source LLMs or open source LLMs. Now in this video, I am going to specifically talk about why I think DeFi is better than assistant APIs of OpenAI and we're also going to see the RAG applications, how the RAG inference is better than the OpenAI's. So how to get started? Uh, just click on the uh, defi.ai and click on get started here so you'll be taken to the login page i have already logged in but you can just continue with uh, continue with google here so once we log in to the uh, to this interface we'll have our uh, login here so that's prompt.engineer48 at gmail.com now before we move on to that let me uh, give you the benefits of using uh, d5 with respect to assistant api again so uh, assistant api it's not open source it's a closed source open ai but d5 is open source self-hosting deployment we have in d5 but it's not available in assistant api multimodal support this is another thing that is very interesting in d5 etl tools etl is basically the extract transform and load here and now moving on to this uh, llm app stack you can see that the interface is pretty good and you can see that there are different uh, blocks uh, which i mentioned here now in this video i'm not going to go through all uh, of these blocks uh, which i will do in a separate video but as you can see this block is uh, this these blocks can be replaced with any of the technology that you have for example in storage you can use uh, vector uh, db or you can use relational db for indexing you can use uh, for this rack pipeline you can use different kinds of uh, rack pipelines that you have uh, basically this will stay the same which is the orchestration studio and uh, i will go through this in a separate video but here what i wanted to show you is the extract transform and load etl so that is what is available uh, in day five but it's not available in assistant api we also have different choices of embedding models uh, here at d5 and it's uh, just the open ai models in the assistant api so these are different uh, benefits of using d5 with respect to assistant api now let's go back to the interface to this uh, dashboard where we can create different chatbots now we have two deployments one is the cloud interface here and the other is uh, putting it into a local docker so if we go to docker uh, we already have uh, i have already loaded this up but if i just start this docker so docker compose up we can see that this is loaded up and you will be able to see that in the in inside the docker but this is the docker implementation uh, this you can find it in the github uh, page that they have so if you go to this location then you can see the github uh, code here and if you go down you just need to uh, git clone this link and then what you need to do is just go and change the folder to docker and docker compose up 
uh, dash d so this will start off the uh, inside the docker but uh, the docker uh, implementation would be a little slower if your machine is uh, you know weak but let's go with the cloud interface so i'm just going to stop this and let's go with the cloud deployment so we are back uh, here so here we have cloud.defi.ai and here oh, i want to make a chatbot for example so before that uh, we need to put it our uh, large language models so we go to prompt engineer we go to settings we go to model provider here and uh, here you can add different kinds of models here so as you can see these are different models that you can add open source closed source everything is possible here so if you go to hugging face we can add up a model here uh, put on uh, click uh, text generation then hosted api inference uh, hosted inference api put in your api hugging face tokens here so just click here and take in the tokens from here just put it here and enter the model name so for this case uh, we will look at the mistral model which is a very good model so just gonna have to put in the name here uh, by copying from this location so I just put it here and click on save so once you click save it will appear here since I've already uh, added this so this is the model that we're talking about this is mistral AI mistral 7 billion version 0 0.1 so this is the model that we have added now once we have added the model we can start up uh, our process of creating an app so click on create new app uh, click the name of the app so let's say YouTube then uh, go to chat app and click on create so this will create an app for you and it is pretty much deployed so you can share this link with others and it's pretty much uh, everyone can use this link uh, for chatting with your uh, chatbot but we need to do some of the customizations here so if you go to prompt engineering here so here you can put up a prompt so let me put up a prompt a system prompt before that we need to change the model here so gpt 3.5 let's change the model to the mistral 7 billion and you can set up the other parameters as well so temperature let's say point uh, temperature of let's say 1.55 uh, top p max tokens we can even increase that then let's put up a pre-prompt let's say you are a helpful chatbot that responds uh, in short answers uh, and in crisp manner so it, it will respond in a short and crisp answers so that is the prompt uh, that you can put and uh, basically that's it you can just publish it this will uh, put out a success here if it's success then it's done uh, you can go to overview again and click on preview so this will open up the chatbot now you can just start chatting with this bot so for chatting let's uh, print out a famous example tell me a joke press enter and let's see the inference it's very fast why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything uh, one more what is uh, one plus one one plus three one plus three is four you can see the speed it's it's the video is not sped up or anything like that you can see this video it's pretty good now let's do another one uh, tell me a short story uh, just uh, tell me a short story in thousand words maybe you can see the inference it's pretty fast so this is basically your chatbot and you can just share it so uh, you can just copy it here and share it with your friends and your uh, customers so in order to check this out let me copy this and go to an incognito window and where we can paste this and press enter and then uh, it's going to load up the chat so I start chat and say tell me a joke basically this works so I'm gonna close this and you can embed it in different websites of yours as well 
uh, you can customize it you have the settings here you can put a description here you can also use uh, this as a backend api and that is uh, you that can, could be used to power off different applications now this is uh, what i like this is the replacement of the assistant api of openai now let's look at uh, the rag or retrieval augmented generation this is where you need to put up a knowledge base and using that knowledge base uh, the bot is going to answer questions based on that knowledge base so go to knowledge then create knowledge and we need to put in our file here just drop and drag uh, the drag and drop this file here and click on next file will be available here so i've added this deja vu paper uh, which is conditional regenerative learning uh, to enhance dance prediction so this paper uh, i've downloaded this pdf and loaded up in the uh, in the knowledge base here now the app that you have built which is this app which is this youtube app in this app you can add your knowledge base and uh, basically your bot will also will bot bot will take the reference of the knowledge base so we go back to so you can change this to mistral ai and you can put in the context here so we use deja vu here uh, click on add so this context has been added here and then click on publish so once we click on publish we have this preview button now again so we can just click on preview and you can start uh, up a new conversation and you can also tweak a few settings that will help you to input uh, the voice as well so if you go to add new features here you can just uh, switch this on to text to speech uh, and then you can just publish it so this will load up the voice as well so you can have this microphone here i'm going to start up a new conversation start chat and uh, using this microphone i can record my audio and send it uh, to this app so what is one plus one i'm going to stop this and send this so as you can see this is the answer is two uh, check let's check another one uh, tell me a joke okay so here's the joke so you can see this uh, app uh, we need to test the RAG as well so let's uh, start up the microphone what is this document talking about so it uh, so we want some answers uh, on the document that we have added so basically the deja vu paper that we have added we wanted something from that uh, paper so let's wait for the result formats for sharing bpe so this is how we can use and uh, this is how we can create this app chat app and use this chat app now i found this uh, d5 very interesting you have other uh, in the explore button you can have different chatbots that you have that you can use for your own purposes uh, we have you know translate writing programming entertainment hr assistant and uh, basically that's it you can uh, also purchase the plans that they have the sandbox is free it's you can create a uh, build 10 apps here in vector space is 10 mb we also have professional team and enterprise for uh, you can just contact for the enterprise but you can have this professional uh, at $59 per month and this is uh, you can share it with three team members and build about 50 uh, apps here and vector space of 200 MB so yeah this is uh, this was D5 that's an innovative solution for generating AI applications and I think it is at par if not better than OpenAI APIs and GPTs and uh, why not give it a try so this should be the end of this video if you like this video please like this video and share this video also subscribe to my channel for more interesting content like this join the community if you want to become a part of this amazing community that i have 
and uh, i will see you next time please check out the other videos on my channel bye bye have a nice day